happy, beautiful Tuesday, 19th of March. Our next job, which is, um, you probably recognise this street. We're going to re rename this street Lintel Lane. Although we are starting to do garden walls down here now, we've done three down here. Another one coming up. And there you go. Usual script. Yeah, it's just popped. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this detail's a nine inch wall. As you can see, this little angle line there, which isn't being replaced because once this one's done and it's repointed, there won't be any more water getting in there. I'll try and put some kind of tray in there, but I think I've done one similar to this and it didn't have a tray in it. But anyway, you know, you know the score if it needs doing, we'll do it. If we can't do it, we won't. The old chestnut you see a crack fill it which doesn't um, doesn't fix it there we go. I can't see myself but you can see on the video that's yeah uh, that's a that's a rusty lintel <laughs> on a hundred mil seating yeah yeah oh, yeah so that doesn't stop anything you see bits of rust up to the north of the So yeah, we've still got Robbie's scaffold at the moment, so we're going to get that set up uh, and get cracking. So while we get sorted out, you can watch us on time maps. Very spoiled with Robbie's scaffold. I don't think you can have it back. We've got a nice platform, perfect width for my job. And the way it's worked, we've got a nice well, a sort of handrail, sort of knee rail, yeah. and a nice handrail here. You got a tow board even? Yeah, we've got a tow board, <laughs> all by accident. But yeah, I'm going to take three out because our upstanding lintels to there. So we're going to see, get, take it out to there and see if we can get a tray in. I seem to remember it. It's hard because this is this section is a nine inch wall, but we'll open it up and see. If you go back about three years, or maybe even four years, I did one down the road exactly the same. So I should watch it really, should nice and refresh. But yeah, we're all um, we're all powered up. This is our new our new arrival. Been waiting for this for a long time. Yeah, this is full sabotage. We've done this before. We've done this video. Well, let's do it again because all of it. Absolutely brilliant. Right, one handed look. And my my um my arms aren't the best at the moment. Let's follow it with the camera so you can see it. <laughs> so yeah. Well, just before we start breaking things, uh, we're gonna get a dust sheet up, which my glamorous assistant is off to get. And it's almost um girlfriend time. I think she comes uh First week in April. So when she arrives, I think she's coming to work with us for one day. So everyone's going to get to meet Nia properly. And um, while she's here and Alex is off, I'll be on this job. I think I've already mentioned this, but yeah, this is getting a repoint. So yeah, let's get this dust sheet on and start making a mess. Would help if we press play.
There you go, you can see it, here, there's all the original, and there's, and there's what they pointed it with. Yeah, put side on, that's, that's quite a deep bit that. There that's you go. quite deep that compared to the rest of it. Are yeah, you talking with your mask on Dad? Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah that's quite deep compared to the rest of it, but look at that. There's the effort, there's the cross joint. Yeah. So there you go, there's the original. <laughs> And here's our dirty cavity. So this cavity shouldn't be dirty because it's got a cavity tray over it there. So what was all this crap put in there? It shouldn't be there. Off. Must have to get the mask off. Right, got a few more out. Let's clean them. There you go. This is our, our lintel. Proper, proper corroded. Um, I suppose sandline mortar, which is very soft and absorbent, isn't much hot when you're using mild steel that has been, I mean it might be imprinted but over the years it's, uh, it's deteriorated. That. Just gets fatter and fatter and weaker and weaker. It's always worse on the ends, you can see that. And it's only got 100 mil seating. So we've got this one out and that should be it, yeah. And you can see this is the 9 inch detail. That's, that's the bit that goes across the entrance vestibule and then it returns back into the house. Very weird detail that. And you can probably only get away with it on a bungalow because there's no floor above it. But yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna, still going to get a tray in there, although there's not a lot of room. 
and then I just have to I just have to stick it to the back there. So yeah, get the rest of these out and then start working all the way that way. I've marked these bricks up so put the lines on so you can get the brick back in the same place. And there's a three quarter here that's out to clean it up. We just have to make sure everything goes back as it was. So yeah, I'll get a quick picture as well and um uh, How's the cleaning? How's the cleaning? Lovely. Oh, nice. Absolutely. I think we're getting ready for another acro here, I think. Maybe get one in here now. And then now another quick one. As you can see here, there's the existing lintel. And you see this trim? This trim used to have another trim up, up standing there. So you had this trim attached to the door, which brought it out. Then you had another trim up here. So basically, any moisture that was coming down this lintel or down around it was completely sealed in by this trim. Even that there on the window, that's not ideal or that's been pointed. But I'm not sure why that's been done. But it looks like there's lintels in there because you can see the top of the window is level with the top of the course. Usually if there's no lintel in, it's got a brick and edge over the top and it doesn't line up. But anyway, that shouldn't be done like that. This is coming off and then our trim is going to go from the door straight up to the um, lintel. The lintel should be exposed so that any moisture can get out. If the lintel's sealed in like that, then the water's just sealed in. So that's another thing. If you spot that on the lintel, it needs to come off and be redone. Yeah, another top tip for you there. So yeah, we'll get the sacro in now and strong boy. get the rest of the brickwork out. We're gonna have a quick break. This one's a nippy one, this one's a bit really strong, it's it on top of it. Because it's square. Because okay. it's square. I do like the chains though. Ah, then. Okay. Look, it's the right a bit and back to your view, mate. <laughs> right, before we get the radio back on, it's just the news is on the moment, so a quick one. Uh, we're all popped up. We're all out. I've taken the saw all the way across to there, so basically you just need to knock this out now. Alex right, can get it cleaned up. We can get him. Um, Taking this lift out. A nice job of them. Right, let's get these out. Mask off. There we go, we're at the end now. Ow! Oh. Can you just pass with the hoover please? Yeah. Let's just get this a bit cleaned up so you can see it. Let's just get this cleaned up so you can see it properly without, without disturbing it.
Go ball. So it's pushed up and it's pushed out. I trusted that much. You can see the other angle arm from inside. It's actually welded itself to the other angle arm. Crazy foam at the moment. These we do, the worst they are. Alright, hold on, don't, don't get rid of it yet. Oh. Don't get rid of it yet. Oh. You need to take, um, I'm going to get a picture of you with it for a thumbnail. Shocking that, another one. So we need this thing out of the way. This is not doing anything. A few more harm than good. I think it's just on the um, other side of the tape. A bit of silicon. A bit of rubbish there to see. That's the back of the drain now. Just need to get a scraper. Sorry, just need to get a scraper and take this tape off. And then get a few packers in there. One over the mullion. One over the mullion, maybe one there and one there, so we're not dropping the centre of the door. Not that it's going to be a lot of weight over anyway, because we don't pack them tight. We pack them tight, but not so tight as we're putting pressure, pushing too, pushing too much down, putting too much pressure downwards, it's bending the frame. It's just there to support the brick while it goes off. So we took way too much out here, but it's all loose, so we've just gone back to the air brick. We can build it up nice, we get some nice insulation in there. Show you what happens to the tyres after that many years. Not ideal. If they were stainless steel, they'd still be going strong, but mild steel again, and they're probably. It's probably the oldest ones I've seen. This is 1962, so you're probably just going from the uh, horrible fish tails to the butterflies. So they're probably the earliest, and they didn't realise how much they're going to grow. This is the back of the other limb pull. The damage is there. The other angle line is rusted against it. So that rust probably belongs to the other angle line rather than this angle line. So this is totally fine. 
Right, let's get this cleaned up. And then... Get ready to get moving. Right, we've left our rubbish bags at home. We? We're a team. There's no iron team. There is, it's in the A. Hey? It's in the A. What do you mean? If you do it in squares. If you do it with the letters in squares, there's an A in the middle of the A. Um, anyway, I did town, well, I didn't town that set because I did it for press record. So there you go. That's all. Move it out nice and clean. And a nice tiny gap at the top. Which is not quite getting silicon, so we'll have to put a trim on it. But it is what it is. Got plenty of room to work. You just took the. Um, Tray under there, which would be a bit weird. That'll take us past there, and it's like a no man's land, we can't do anything with it there because it jumps back into cavity wall. As you can see, this has got a tiny cavity, but it still has a tray in it. So, um, there you go, it's a little time. Right, I forgot to film again, but I've just used our little, uh, you don't see this very often, but it's very handy when we do use it, our little. 115mm grinder with a buffing disc on it so I took all the surface rust off it the worst of it, all the crumbly, all the flaky stuff so it's back to metal and I'm going to give it a spray with um, this stuff it's hammerite, it's underbody steel but it's um, it's probably it's obviously for cars it's the only stuff I could find that I could get hold of today. So basically it's going to seal that up. It's going to be fine anyway, we could have just left it but while it's all open we might as well get it done. Do just belt and braces just to give it that extra bit of protection. Because our new lintel is going against that and then a tray going over so it's never going to get any more, any more um, moisture on it. We've already got a tray here which we're going to tuck behind and then it's going to drop down into our new tray so yeah that's, the, uh, that's what we're going to do I'm just going to move all the dust stuff now and get it sprayed up Instead of cutting it, why don't we just take these three brick out? Because cutting it's easier. Because um, I don't want the brick to collapse. I'm already uh, pushing the look at this end. Well, we've just got it up. And um, the lintel's 2100, but the opening's only 1590. So the lintel needs to be 1890 to give us a 150. And then our tray can go past and get an upstand then. Otherwise, the tray is going to be short on the lintel. So I'll just tuck it back down. Let's take 150 off it and then we can um, 
tra so the lintel will go to there now, trays will go up to this piece here, this stand here. So there you go. Should have checked before we put it in, but never even thought. So back to the drawing board. multi Milwaukee multi blade does it again I've got a thing here I'll I'll use the, the mini grinds to clean it yeah you do it it's got the uh, abrasive wheel on it <laughs> because we've got to get room to get brick over. Mm. Should we get the tracer up and have lunch? Pardon? Should we get the tracer up and have lunch? Yeah. 18 mil. Have them fixed on here, yeah? the music comes on, the trays it, lintels in, nice 150 seat in, 20 mil set back, it's room to get our fat bricks on, more or less sits against here, which is nice because the trail just goes straight up the wall now, and it's not, there's no cavity for it to cross, so it's going to work nice, and um, yeah, we're ready to go, tray can come up here, up stand here, and it just sail off into the um, cavity there, and then we'll tuck it under this tray, which is here. So if uh, Alex jumps up again, we'll get this tray. This is the bit that never goes in to plan. So we could get in this tray. There's a bit of brick in there just to stop it tipping back. Right. Nice and solid.
There we go. Trace that up. It's been silicon to the back there, and the rest of it is tucked underneath the existing tray. So that's perfect. There's our upstand at this end. I have to put this brick in. And we're going to run everything this way because there's three quarters at this end. There's our other upstand which comes past our lintel. That's covered. And it's all tucked back into the cavity there. And we've we'll put a bit, insulation, a bit of insulation in there to hold it back. Nothing going in here because there's, there's no room for anything here. So it's just straightforward brickwork after dinner. I'm going to do it in sand and cement but rake it back. And then when I do the repointing, I'm going to get some, um, some lime and do it with lime. So all the points will be exactly the same. It'll just be this section of brickwork will be sand and cement. Like I say, but finished with lime. And that's the plan. The mix is on. Well, the mix is mixed. I need to put a bucket over it because that's what we need knocking up after dinner. And I'm talking really fast like Daniel from Asheville. <laughs> His mum keeps telling him off for talking too fast. But he's a bit clearer than me though. But yeah, anyway, let's go for some dinner. Get this cracked off after dinner. Right, lunch over. Let's hit the ground running. There's my packers. For packing under the lintel before I start. And there's our wheat vent, which is getting low. There's all those prehistoric dinosaurs in there. One of the fish tails I was telling you about. Probably the best condition I've ever seen one of them in. They are horrible. No flex in them, so when you whack your head, you probably go into hospital. There we go. Should just have enough of these vents left. Like Alex said, we're going to get clear from now on, so we don't have to match up more to a bit because just go for clear. There's the old ones we had. There's the new ones. I think they call them peep vents because they're just peeping out rather than the whole perp being a vent. They do look better. So, right, that's that and that. So I'm getting up there to sort that out and I think Alex is going to knock that up for me. And whack these brick in, and then he can start tidying up with all that rust. Yeah, that's that.
Four hours for what time doing this. Right, just a bit of a mess to clear up. A few splashes on the door, but it's only drops of mortar. The um there's no way to fix the Dust sheet to the door. Anyway, oh, there's that scratch coil I'm missing now. Yeah. 
bit. Um, I'm just going to hop back up here. As you can see, the brackets in the brick there. I managed to get the brick back in the same place. Um, second try. I did put the wrong brick in, then I remembered. So I just need to put the uh, light back into place and uh, tighten it up with the rattler, which else has got for me. So we'll get that done, then we can drop this. And while, while, while Alex is tidying up, I can have a go at this door and try and get this trim on. As you can see, there's not much of a gap left there. So that trim will cover that nicely. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's filming. Come on. It's filming. Well done. Now he's clipping it because uh, it's getting raked out. Just wants to. Uh, just wants the. Um, sensor put in wherever they want it. That's solid that. Not often you get to put the light back on the same day. A bit of forward thinking. Put the brick back in the same place. Right, let's get this thing dropped. Last few bits on the uh, camera guide just as we were doing the trim. There you go. One trim, super glued on, pitched up that. Two station. You get that and the activate, acti acti actuate, activate. So you put this on the trim and then you spray the frame and it's got to be quick because it goes off quick. So um, because I'm doing all the pointing and that and the dust, I'm not going to seal that yet. I'm going to seal that in when all the pointing is finished. And obviously we've raked that back ready. So um, when I point, it's going to be with um, lime mortar. So it's all going to match. Come up nice. So that's it. I'm going to help Alex with that little bit there. And then I'm going to hand you over to him to do his handle. Oops. Um, what's it called? Hmm? Outro. Yeah. There we go. You can uh, see you can see where it's uh, been done <laughs> with it being uh, bricked out. But there you go. That is a fresh, new, unrusted lintel in with the trim popped it back into weep vents and a cavity tray that goes up to the ex existing one. But yeah, that's uh, another another one on lintel lane finished. So obviously that will be back here in, in a few weeks to get the pointing done so for now that's that's us thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more hit subscribe and tap on that bell that way you always know when we upload it's a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support any additional support you'd want to give, there's the super thanks under the video or of Dad's PayPal in the description. Not necessary by any means, but it's always a massive, massive help and a really great way to support our channel. So thank you. This has been Little Work with Steve and Alex, and we will see you in the next one.